For several thousand years, and probably much longer, people have stared at the planets and stars and wondered, why do they shine? What keeps them moving? Why don't they fall down? So this week, gravity and how it runs the solar system, the galaxy and much of the universe. It's a remarkable story and the people who led us to it have fascinating stories too. Aristarchos of Samos, Tycho Brahe of Venn, Johannes Kepler of Graz, Galileo Galilei of Florence, Isaac Newton of Cambridge, Albert Einstein of Bern and others. But we'll put the history aside and go straight to the physics. Newton's first and second law, F total equals MA. It takes a force to accelerate this object, whether down, up or sideways. But changing the direction of velocity is also an acceleration and it takes force to keep an object travelling in a circle at constant speed. If I remove that force, it travels in a straight line. Newton compared the acceleration of two objects, one of them near to the surface of the Earth at a distance of about 6,400 kilometres from the centre, and the other one was the Moon at a distance of about 380,000 kilometres from the Earth and in nearly circular orbit around it. Well, that sounds like a job for you. What are the ratios of their separations and of their accelerations?